Return to the Collect Jurassic back with another Jurassic World toy unboxing. It has been a great past couple weeks. Lots of new toys hitting. Uh, love collecting and doing these reviews when stuff just keeps hitting. Very exciting. And what I have in my hands is very exciting because I've been really looking forward to this one in particular from the Jurassic World Epic Evolution Strike Attack assortment. And I think a lot of people have been looking forward to this one. It's Caprosuchus, a new uh, Asuchus, if you will. I've had a few of these, right? Um, but a new kind of like not quite dinosaur sort of uh, prehistoric reptile, prehistoric creature kind of thing. I don't know what it technically, scientifically is, but I know it. I don't think it's supposed to be a dinosaur. So, um, but anyway, it's got some really cool uh, design details on it that I can't wait to check out out of the box. So we'll definitely be doing the unboxing, of course, the review. Uh, we'll look at the paint articulation, all that good stuff. Then we'll do some uh, um, comparisons with the other Sucuses, right, uh, that Mattel's done, and maybe a couple other dinosaurs and figures too. So without further ado, let's jump in. Packaging here is just like the other Epic Evolution packaging we've been looking at. We got the logo, of course, but also this nice background, the Jurassic World T-Rex logo isolated from the Jurassic World wording, which is a little different. And we also have the locale, just like Dino Trackers, every dinosaur this year sort of has like a biome habitat kind of thing going on with it. So River uh, Caprosuc is kind of like the River Ruthless Rampage Allosaurus I, review, I reviewed earlier this week. Then on the back, we have um, the action feature demo. We have um, the other figures in this wave, which I will be reviewing um, this guy here pretty soon. I've already done Guavasaurus if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. But um, let's quit talking about the boring packaging and get to the figure inside. So love unboxing these figures because they couldn't be easier to take out of the box. It's literally just a couple snips. Well, I say that and then I'm still stuck here just a, okay three snips not two and then we're out of the box and we can go ahead and toss that box away so here is caprosuchus wonderful colors on this thing um they're they're very muted and i don't mean that in like a uh you know uh negative way they're 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 not you know unnaturally vibrant or something like that they just feels like a natural color scheme for an animal almost pastel -y, if you will that's the first thing I noticed on this thing. But the other thing is the detail. I mean, look at all the scales and sort of like protrusions and different types of scaling. Some that uh, kind of folds over one another. Some that's more pebbly. Some that's more like ridges on the leg. Um, and then, of course, on the face, too, we have some like bumps there. And then those eye ridges. I mean, this thing has got fantastic mold detail um, all the way around. Even on the underbody has this sort of smoother ridging going on, which is really cool. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's probably the, the thing that jumps out at me the most is the detail um, next and the paint together. But um, what's really interesting about this guy is that he is so um, crocodilian-like, right? I mean, it almost looks like a walking alligator or a walking crocodile. And those teeth, of course, too, a little bit on the... Um, you know, exaggerated side, right? Um, but I think that's what makes this guy cool. That's what makes Caprosuchus cool. You're kind of a stubby little tail as well. Articulation-wise, we're going to have, looks like the articulation in the front legs is maybe, oh, no, I was going to say non-existent, but no, it does have posability on the front legs. It is ratcheted, so it's not like a one that you can move, like the back legs that move basically anywhere you want. Um, the back legs will move anywhere you want. The front legs are going to be very ratcheted, and that's probably because they're tied to the action feature, which I'll get to here in a bit. So they kind of have a stem in between the body and side that keeps them tied together. Um, but at least you can still do, you know, like a walking pose like that or something. Um, so they're not totally, um, you know, uh, stationary, but they do have a little bit of limitation in how, how they can pose exactly where they can pose. Um, but then the mouth, of course, is going to be tied to that action feature, which um, these strike attacks have a really smooth action feature that I really enjoy. You literally just press on the back, just like uh, the Dominion kind of uh, electronic assortment. You press on the back, and it's that easy. You can see how these front legs sort of stay in place, and the body presses down, and the mouth opens. So really, really easy to activate, um, and a really smooth um, action feature too that doesn't feel like it's going to crack or snap or break. Yeah, but when you open that mouth, we can see all the teeth sort of um, separated from another, so he kind of takes on a different look, a little more ferocious look. He's got a nice, bright, I don't know if that's plastic tongue in there, not painted, so different colored plastic than, uh, than the teeth themselves. That looks really cool. Um, yeah, that, that's awesome. 
I love that they they have a different colored piece of plastic for the for the tongue in there. It's a nice detail, and you can see it's even got the um, little spot in between the mouth painted. I mean, the paint budget, they've really upped their game this year with the paint budget, I think, on the couple of figures I've reviewed so far. I mean, the Ruthless Rampage Alice Source didn't have a ton of paint, but what it had, it used, and didn't feel like any part of the figure was necessarily unpainted. And I feel like this is the same thing with this one. They did a really nice job blending. So you have this sort of base, darker, pla darker color that's cast plastic in the middle, cast plastic in the tail, the legs match that color plastic, but then we have this blue paint on, or I guess sort of a bluish greenish paint that comes into the legs. The legs are cast in that color versus the darker color. Um, that, and then the jaw is paint cast in a lighter color that's blended in through the neck all the way down to the mid chest there. So they did all this blending. You can see three different kinds of plastic here, three different tones of plastic that are all blended together. Then of course you have the painted teeth you got the painted eyes, but you also have that cast plastic tongue in there and a little bit of paint on that webbing in between the jaw, which is really fun. So yeah, I mean, that's, that right there is incredible detail. One other thing I always forget, I don't want, don't want to forget here, is that scan tag right there, popping it open on the back. Otherwise, it just sits there on the spine. Pretty simple stuff. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's Capra suitcase by itself. But I did want to do a couple comparisons here. Of course, with the human figure, I'm starting to use this Alan Grant. He's the Dominion one, but he feels like a proper paleontologist versus anything else. So I think he makes for a great scale <laughs> example there. So there's Grant next to Capra suitcase. You can see Capra suitcase is on the bigger side, um, not a small figure at all. Not a, not as big as some of the electronic assortments, but certainly not a small figure either. And just for fun, we'll go ahead and. Give him a bite. I don't know if any, anything can even fit in these teeth. They kind of uh, block the sides of his mouth, but um, they definitely would not, he definitely would hurt um, getting in those jaws. So that's Grant. I also wanted to bring out a couple, a couple other Sucuses, right? One of my favorites, the very first one, uh, the post Sucus. I love this thing. Very much reminds me of the canceled Jurassic Park Series 2 um, Ornithosuchus, which we still have yet to get from Mattel, an Ornithosuchus. So hopefully that's coming. But that's Ornithosuchus. Um, you can see we've come a long way from since this figure in terms of like detail and sort of like, I don't know, distinct features. This could be really any dinosaur if you look at the head here. Um, don't get me wrong, I love this figure, but um, compared to... Um, uh, Carpasuchus. Why don't, I wanted to call it Crapasuchus. Uh, Caprosuchus here um, has just a lot more of like a loud design and a more, like I said, distinct design versus uh, Postasuchus here. And then, of course, uh, just recently in Dino Trackers, we had Prestasuchus too. And this guy is a real strange looking guy. It almost looks like a T Rex head. Um, he has the. Uh, how does his action feel? Oh, yeah, he's got the button on his back. Um, you know, same idea. They all have chomping jaws and big mouths, but even this guy looks a little bit better than uh, Postasuchus, but definitely has sort of a, a cartoony look to him more than the other ones. I do like the interlocking teeth on him. Though. Those are nice. But honestly, the the uh, they both pale in comparison to me for uh, Caprosuchus here. Maybe Caprosuchus is, you know, an entirely different animal, and maybe that's why it has such a distinct... Uh, design to it um, versus these others, but uh, I still feel like it just feels a little bit more of a realistic animal versus something that's a toy. But wait, that is not the only Sucus figure we have from Mattel. Um, this one may not fit as well as the others, but I got to put them in for the sake of comparison. We have uh, Sarka Sucus, another awesome figure from Mattel. And I actually really like the way these guys all look together because they kind of have their color schemes are all sort of complementing one another. Um, this is the repaint of Sarkasugas, an excellent figure though. So if you haven't picked up this one, I think you can actually still get this one on Amazon. I highly recommend it. An awesome figure though. Cool chopping and lots of um, rotation with the neck right. So, and also a little more crocodilian like, right? So we can get a real, uh, <laughs> a proper crocodilian comparison. They have the similar scaling and everything. If you look, um, so they definitely take pages out of that sort of like live animal book um, together like that. But um, 
obviously they're much different creatures uh, <laughs> in size for sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, Mattel's given us quite a bit of Sucus dinosaurs uh, so far, but I am really waiting for that Ornithosuchus because that was um, such a cool classic dinosaur that I feel like we, we deserve to get one from Mattel. But with the way they're kicking out new species, it probably won't be long. Uh, I, w I would imagine before we get that, but uh, definitely uh, Caprosuchus here is an excellent figure. Um, definitely one of my favorites um, that we've gotten so far for Epic Evolution. And I think probably out of all the ones we know are coming, one of the cooler ones. I know a lot of people, like I said earlier, have been excited for this one and rightfully so because it is a awesome looking figure. So very happy with this one. Um, I got this one from Amazon. You can grab it uh, now. I think it's shipping now. So I'll go ahead and put that link in the Insta in the sorry YouTube caption for you to grab if you want that. But yeah, that's uh, that's Caprasuchus. Great figure. But I think that's all I got to say about it. So again, I'm Tim the Cliff Jurassic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.